I have a riddle for you. If a cow goes moo, and a dog goes woof, and a cat goes meow, then what sound does the color red make? There's no correct answer to that question, because of course, colors do not make sounds. However, your imagination can decide. Our artist of the week, Vasily Kandinsky, was somebody who explored the relationship between colors, shapes, and sounds. Let's read a little book about our young artist, Vasily Kandinsky. The Noisy Paint Box, The Colors and Sounds of Kandinsky's Abstract Art. Written by Barb Rosenstock, illustrated by Marie Grandpre. Vasya Kandinsky spent his days learning to be a proper Russian boy. He studied bookfuls of math, science, and history. He practiced piano scales to the marching click of the metronome. He sat stiff and straight at dressed-up dinners while the grown-ups talked and talked and talked. Vasya's well-off world was perfectly polite, until the day his aunt gave him a small wooden paint box. Every proper Russian boy should appreciate art, said Auntie. She showed Vasya the correct way to mix colors on the paint box palette. Vasya mixed red with yellow, then he mixed red with blue. As the colors changed, Vasya heard a whisper. Hiss, louder, hiss, then louder still, hiss. What's that sound? asked Vasya. I don't hear a thing, said Auntie. Vasya listened as his brush stirred and swished. The swirling colors trilled like an orchestra, tuning up for a magical symphony. Mama! Papa! called Vasya. What a noisy paint box! Silly Vasily, said Papa. Stop being foolish, said Mama. Vasya painted the sound of the colors. He spun a bright lemon circle onto the canvas. It clinked like the highest notes on the keyboard. He brushed a powerful navy rectangle that vibrated deeply like the lowest cello strings. He tossed up jagged swashes of blaring crimson and added cheerful dots of burbling green, clanging orange, and tinkling violet. Vasya painted and painted until the colors went quiet. Look what I made, shouted Vasya. Is it a house? asked Auntie. Is it a flower? asked Mama. What's it supposed to be? asked Papa. It's music, said Vasya, waltzing his painting around the house. Calm down, said Mama. Do some math, said Papa. Heavens, said Auntie. This boy needs a proper art class. So Vasya went to art class and learned to draw houses and flowers, just like everyone else. As the years passed, Vasya finished school and studied to be a lawyer. He ignored his noisy paint box and lived the way people expected. But Vasya couldn't ignore the sounds of the colors singing to him in the streets of Moscow. The canary-colored mailbox whistling as he rode to work. The scarlet sunset haze ringing above the ancient Kremlin walls. An ivory chorus of snowflakes scattered on the sable collar of his overcoat. One evening, suitably steamed and starched, Vasya attended the opera 
As the orchestra's music crashed around him, the colors of the noisy paint box twirled wildly in his mind. Stomping lines of vermilion and coral, caroling triangles in pistachio and garnet, thundering arches of aqua and ebony, with shrill points of cobalt and saffron. Vasya heard the colors singing. Vasya saw the music dancing. And Vasya was never quite as proper again. He quit his job teaching law and moved from Moscow to Munich to be a painter. He studied with this famous teacher, then that one. Is it a house? Is it a flower? What's it supposed to be? His teachers asked. Vasya wanted to paint the colors he heard, but maybe the famous teachers knew best. Once again, Vasya put houses and flowers, animals and people into his paintings, just like everyone expected. The teachers were happy. Vasya was not. His artist friends understood. They too were tired of painting pretty landscapes and pretty ladies. They thought art needed to change. Art should make you feel, Vasya told them, like music. Exactly, said his friends, but none of them knew how to paint feelings. Until the day Vasya grew brave enough and invited the world to see the paintings roaring from his noisy paint box. Hiss, rattle, bash, whistle, murmur, zip, clang, tweet. Snapping cerulean points, crunching crimson squares, whispering charcoal lines, Vasya named these paintings after the music he loved. Improvisation, composition, accompaniment, fugue, movement, and simply three sounds. With his noisy paint box, Vasya Kandinsky created something entirely new, abstract art. It took a long time for people to understand. Is it a house? Is it a flower? What's it supposed to be? It's my art, Vasya answered. How does it make you feel? book. What an amazing artist. Vasily Kandinsky sounded like one of the coolest people of all time. And how about those paintings? The lines, the shapes, the colors. It was as if I could hear the music in my head as I looked at them. Now, your next task is to watch the next video and see me and Mr. Denovi collaborate or work together on an artwork. He created the music that inspired my painting. I thought about what each of the sounds felt like, how they might be made into lines and shapes and colors into my artwork. Good luck.